and feels great to have you back. How's things at your end? I'm in the middle of a meeting with Mitch. He wants me to hang up. He's signaling wildly. Tell him to get lost. And tell him I said that. He says hello. To you and your venerable mother. Listen, I'm... I'm stuck in a shithole. It sucks hard. So leave the shithole. Come home. It's not that simple. No is a nice word. Beautiful sometimes. You should use it more often. Sorry, Mitch is about to blow a fuse. I'll have to call you back. Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. longer we need very precise data can't stand this anymore cognitive function test solve the cube
Place it up. Respond to the key words. No thinking, just the first word that comes to mind. Loyalty. Johnny! Please respond to each term with the first thing that comes to mind. Quick as I can, no thinking, right? Humanity. No idea. Please step onto the treadmill. As quickly as you can, without thinking about it. V. Hanako Arisaka. Want to talk to her now. Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. Fuck, no, enough. I've had it. Fucking hate this place. Actually morning. The sun rose over Night City exactly two hours ago. Someone really ought to clean this mess up. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip, but the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. How much time I got? Approximately six months. Then things will deteriorate quickly. The time before your ultimate demise will be worst. Most taxing. Want to talk to Hanako Arisaka? I'm afraid that's impossible. We had a deal. And both sides fulfilled their respective ends. You, your case, your troubles. No longer interest, Hanako. Hanako Arasaka promised to save my life. Precisely why she sent me here to discuss your options with you. What other options are there? I've already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. 
Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. How am I supposed to know this isn't another one of your tricks? A trick? Maybe Arasaka just wants to punish a pain in the ass thief. Maybe Saburo just wants another soul in his collection. The Arasakas have become gods. You are nothing to them. Insignificant. So this has to be your sweet revenge. Look at you. Your life's work has turned Saburo into a god. Yet here you stand, a mere mortal. That would make two of us. Why would I seek to punish my companion in distress? My employer has made you an offer. We should finish discussing it. So let's say I agree. I'll land in Arasaka's soul prison. Put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No. Not about to become the property of our Osaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well-known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. Made my decision. I'm going back to Earth. Going home. You will die there. Goodbye, Anders. Your offer was shit. But in making it, you gave me something better. What are you talking about? Before... Death was inevitable, a fact of my shit life. You let me choose it, accept it on my terms.
were made from Earth gravity could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is don't ignore any error warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. is dropping everything and leaving. <laughs> Yet, here I am still. Oh, the city's like quicksand. The more you try to get out, the more it pulls you in. Once you're up to your knees, you're never getting out. Like, like Evelyn. Anyway, look out for yourself, okay? And call me sometime. It's Pan Am. Remember me? The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. some big noise coming out of Night City with, uh, you involved. No idea what that was all about, but, um, if you're ever in trouble, I need a hand or a place to disappear, we're here. You saved an Aldecaldo's life, and we will never forget that. It's a debt we're happy to owe. Stay in touch, V. Hey, V! It's me, Mitch, remember? You saved my ass from Kang Tao. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't remember, cause... Cause I do. Anyway. If you ever need help with anything, I got your back. Alright? You just give me a call and I'm in Night City before you know it. Doesn't matter if you want someone to disappear, or... If you need lunch brought to your office. Literally anything, alright? All right, take care now. Gotta hand it to you, V. I'm impressed. When you told me you were gonna go after Hellman, I was sure you'd come back as a garbage bag full of smithereens. But you did it. I'm not usually wrong about people and what they're capable of. I'm curious to see what else you've got in you. If you're looking for your next job, you know where to find me. From what I understand, you have less than six months to live. I do not know how you plan to spend this time. Perhaps you have chosen to put your feet up, rest, ponder life's meaning. Or perhaps you continue to do what you are good at. If that is the case, my father and I would gladly retain your services. You would be compensated generously. Six months will pass faster than you imagine. It would be a shame to let this time go to waste. Heavy. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was
was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. Said what you had. 